Hello, everybody. Yo. It's a spooky, spooky episode. Oh, man. I started yeah, yesterday yeah. doing a, like, it started as just kind of a generic, like, let me think of how many spooky things I can, like, ram into this intro for the PX3 Extra. Mm -hmm. And then it ended. I was so hungover, but it ended because <laughs> so I was shocking myself with my stamina as I just kept going. And it ended in like a full Crypt Keepers. Like, I'm like, you can only do like three spooky puns in a row before you're like, oh, I'm the Crypt Keeper now. That yeah. was the idea. <laughs> right. Uh, uh, man, uh, might, might have sat alone in a room bursting out loud, crying, laughing at ICU's uh, video. Oh, yeah. Twitter. That's very good. The thriller. Bluer. Yeah, the, Bluer, uh, that's it, yeah. <laughs> the, the bummer, of course, is uh, now I understand why everyone runs their Halloween special like October 2nd. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, because by the time we could talk about the aftershocks of, of Halloween, it's, it's going to be... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We're, we're going to be thinking about football and buying stuff at uh, scamstuff.com. Gear hey. for the modern road. Hey. hey. Well, I'm always doing that. Thinking I hope, about I, I hope your pick on the show is baseball. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm ashamed to admit I didn't watch game two. How, how was it? <laughs> I think you were watching game two. I think that you didn't watch game. Oh, three? no, no, no. I thought, was I, that game sure one? Was, no, ga game one was when the Phillies rallied and surprised. Cause I left, I left midway and it looked like the, it looked like it was going to be a route for the Astros. Yeah. Justin, uh, how does it feel to be burnt, uh, eloquently? <laughs> <laughs> how does it feel? Does it be completely owned? <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? Cause. Oh no, you're right. No, no. Game three has not been played yet, but I do think. When, when you, you're talking yeah, sports no, professional I was, I was Brian Brush, I was waiting for Handsome Man to show up, and they were saying <laughs> show for Game Three coming up. This is breaking news from from. Yeah, Justin is is finally learning the news about what game is on when. When's the games? <laughs> when the game at? Yeah, uh, not gonna lie. This is giving me so much dopamine. I kind of want to lean into it and become like an ironic sports fan. Way better at sports than you. Where I'm you you're gonna have a shot. Bleeding edge, fucking. I hot literally face. there's so much of of my enjoyment of sports that is entirely because I still listen to sports podcasts from when I watched a lot of sports, <laughs> and now I just like the NBA. I almost entirely consume via other people talking about the NBA. Uh, I'll tell you what, we did that experiment on Spoiler in Time where I did not watch Westworld, but instead for, you know, eight weeks, just listened to Tom and Bryce talk about Westworld and ask questions. And as a result, that was the best season of Westworld I've watched. I feel like that might be an indictment of Westworld. Oh, no, no, no. no. I, I genuinely enjoyed it. <laughs> what was that? I, no. I watched I that all of them in one, in one day I, 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 like to get caught up for the finale. It mm -hmm. was great. Like uh, Now I understand why people uh, listen to us on Spoiler in Time, specifically so they can hear us <laughs> break down movies that we're not going to watch. Yeah. I'm excited. We're going to talk about White Lotus tonight. Uh, the Lotus. Yeah. The I have questions. Okay, I'll have answers. Uh, I got, I got uh, excited. A boner. Mm. I loved it. I love. There's so many things I like. I don't, that'll be my pick. Well, we'll talk about it. Oh, okay. Very good. Hello, everybody. We're gonna get started in just a second. Uh, you guys ready to do the show? Yeah. Ready. All right. Let me take my phone. That's over there. Boop, 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 boop. All right. Let's do some weird things then. In three, two. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Weird Things Podcast. I'm Bryce Castillo, your host as always, and I'm joined as always with one Brian Brushwood. I've always been here. And Justin, always here, Robert Young. What's up, fam? Hi, everybody. This is our, story, uh, this is our show about science, uh, weird news, things happening. Uh, I got a weird thing for things you. Things that happened. Uh, uh, the news thinks they have a lock on that. No, no, we're not. Podcasts weird are here now. <laughs> yeah, yep. exactly. Podcast colon the weird news. Uh, I've got. Uh, I need some help. I haven't. Speaking of the news, I haven't read the news yet, but I do live in Wyandotte, Michigan, and I need to know why they've closed down three blocks of 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 roads. For Halloween tonight. Where are you? Point to the hand. Yeah, where, where on where on the mitten you are? Where on the mitten are you? Uh, on go ahead and point. This is my great Michigan go. accent. Oh, hello. Go ahead and point I'm on Michigan. point on point on the mitten where I'm you Michigan are. I'm Michigan mitten. Oh, okay. Here, Show here. the part of you. I am right here. 
I'm I'm right at the I'm kind of at the meat yeah. of the thumb. I'm in the southern close southern, to, to to Reno near Ann Arbor and uh, Toledo. <laughs> okay, and Detroit. Uh, so Wyandotte, Michigan, uh, had about three blocks of uh, uh, of street that are going to be closed off this evening uh, for for trick or treating. You just cannot go down those three blocks. Yeah. at all. Do you two? Can you tell me why? What, what, when Wait, you didn't, say didn't closed, you just closed say trick or treating for trick or treating? Did you mean uh, sorry. Closed, closed off to closed trick or treating? To trick or treating, you may Got not it. trick or treat down uh, those three I, blocks. Dude, I know the answer to this, uh, and and if it's not true here, it's true somewhere else. It should be true universally, uh, universally, mm-hmm. uh, or and at the university. That's right. Um, teenagers, <laughs> they've <laughs> they're feral. <laughs> they're running the streets. <laughs> <laughs> and they smell blood. So B- Bonnie was talking about like uh, how we're going to set out candies and treats for because uh, we're doing the teal pumpkin thing, which is a allergy awareness thing. So oh, if nice. you have peanut allergies, you can get a toy instead of a, a you know poison. Um, but uh, she was like, ah, but the problem is I can't be there because it's happening tonight and I'm, we're going to be doing cord killers. Uh, and uh, I was like, well, if you can't be there. I don't know. We were brainstorming ideas, and then Bonnie says, "I don't know, man. Maybe the teenagers do us a service." I was like, "What do you mean?" She's like, "Well, they're always late, way after the kids, so they kind of like do us the favor of cleaning everything up, yeah, by cleaning us out." Uh, and I rather like that. No, there's gonna be a moment tonight when we do trick or treating where uh, I have two gigantic bags of candy. Hmm. They're all getting the hell out of my house. Wow. And, Real candy and, too. And, uh, You're gonna be that family. Oh well, yeah, we're doing full bars. What? Then we full also bars. Have, full bars. Oh yeah. my god, full money bags over here. We're I doing mean, full bars. <laughs> we're doing full bars because we're still new in the neighborhood. And we want to. We want to. We want to get a reputation <laughs> as being those guys. You, always showing up. You weren't here else. for Halloween. This is not your first Halloween here, even. I was not. Ashley did it last year because I was in Virginia covering that governor's race because of the way the election day fell oh, yeah. last year. Uh, so this is the first time I'm doing it, which means I'm running it my way, baby. <laughs> uh, Full bars and like a $5 off at the local laundromat coupon. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's that's mm-hmm. like and a zip two line. And a zip line. And a zip, zip line. line. <laughs> and oh, a zip hot line. damn. Yeah. Anyway, I forgot where I was going. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going <laughs> to yeah. leave the rest of it out. If we don't get rid of all of it. Yeah. I'm just chucking it in a bucket and uh, not- uh, saying, uh, "Feral teenagers, I mean, go!" But, uh, so I, so, the- so here, here, here's the thing that happens. What when you start to do production of any variety, whether it's audio production, video production, whatever, you start to understand that it's not great when all the things used for the shoot stick around after. Yeah, <laughs> and you really want them all gone. gone. Like I, I like like sure. when, when I would do a TV appearance and then. They're all like, uh, 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 when I would do the human crazy straw, right? And I was like, do you need this bucket that you made that has a valve on it and all that stuff? Took it on the road, did it for, I'm like, haha, I showed them. And it's like, no, they, I, I did them a favor of not having that yes. bucket around, <laughs> pretending that they're going to use it for something else. Well, okay, tr- yes, and also you can eat the candy for your own enjoyment. Don't oh, no, uh, uh-uh. come on, come on, bro. That, bro, sounds, bro. that sounds like bro. late Thanksgiving talk, especially bro. if they're full size candy bars. Well, those are going to go fast, so we don't have a ton of those. Like th- th- those are going to be for early arrivers. Uh, uh, what I'm more worried about is the two uh, uh, football tackling dummy sized <laughs> bags of uh, the the. Regular trick or treat candy, the fun size candy, yeah. because the idea we're, we're dinosaur themed, so the idea is that anybody can go grab as much as you want out of the the fun size thing, but only but one king make, size. But if you make a dinosaur sound, you then get the you full get size. full size candy bar, and I feel like that's going to be a hit with the neighborhood. Yeah. But once I'm done, like I'm already in that bag because it's just sitting there, and I can't. I walk. I open my my closet and I see a little almond joy and I go, well, I mean, just one little almond joy for me wouldn't be so terrible. I would eat that entire bag. I would eat the entire bag if it was left. So it all needs to get out. The feral teenagers are indeed our friend. Uh, uh, do you guys feel <laughs> this like is unhinged. Starting, uh, this is unhinged. Uh, I, that's unhinged. What's unhinged? You're allowed to have candy for your enjoyment. I don't want candy for my enjoyment. I want it out of my house. I'm I, gonna. I'll give it to you if you I'll want the it. candy so much. Yeah, I'll take it. 
feral Bryce. Okay. Well, you better show that's, up and dude, do that's, a dinosaur That's your roar. problem with this. Your problem with this. I just want candy. You just wanted the candy. <laughs> want You're the like, candy. why should these teens get it? I'll I take could it. Be, I could be eating this candy. <laughs> okay, I, I just had an evasive thought uh, before we get to actually answering Bryce's question. This is why Maine needs to be on the show, because uh, otherwise but, it's but, just but this. I, I had a thought about, I'm pretty sure we could create a moral panic, a genuine nationwide New York Times reported moral panic. Um, when we grew up, yeah, the story was razor blades and mm-hmm. candy, right? Yep. Or, or or LSD on the whatever, right? We can, as as uh, Ryan Holiday calls it, trade up the chain. Yep. Take some sock puppet email accounts. Yep. Hit up local news affiliates. Yep. With word that a bunch of Delta Eight chocolate bars are being given out to <laughs> children. And that they need to check and make sure their name brand authentic candies. Mm-hmm. Then you got to Q- scan the QR code. Uh, sure, sure, sure. That's but, the but, law. But the point is, like, instead of razor blade, razor blade, it's it's all edibles uh, because the packaging, I'm told, looks uh, <laughs> looks so professional. I mean, you know, now. We're, we're, we'd be late to that party. That, Wait, that party already has, is, is that on. Mor- moral oh, panic already yeah. happened? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, in I, fact, I, in fact, it's I, gone. I, it's I, gone I take, beyond. I take validation for knowing I was right. Yeah. Although I'm sad I was la- was late. Tell no, me. so mm. so edibles were really like three years ago, four years ago. Gummies. Now it's fentanyl. Yeah. Oh, like, geez, watch Louise. out! Watch Who out for your take, candy oh, okay. because well, fentanyl is going to be in it. Yeah. 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 They're putting fentanyl in the can. No, they're not. <laughs> no, the fentanyl not. is making the kids dead. <laughs> I love the idea of of the weed gummies as candy because. It's expensive. Why would you? It's not cost effective to even do that if you wanted to. Hypothetically, how much would it be? Uh, it would be tens, hundreds of dollars, depending on how much you buy. Uh, tens or hundreds. Tens or hundreds. Hey, who remembers the question you asked at the beginning? Uh, oh yes, Michigan. Michigan. We got. Why? Seven. Why are they? Why? Are, why are kids not allowed? Fentanyl back, teens. Back to loop it down. Uh, uh, to loop, loop it down. That's a real phrase. Uh, teenagers. <laughs> I, I, I think that would, that would be that would be your nightly. Back, I'm looping it down. That that would be your nightly show on like MSNBC or something. Looping it down. Looping it down. It's like, hey man, I'm started. Brian Brushwood, and I'm gonna be looping it down for you. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. The Schwood Loop. How dare you, Michigan? How dare you rob these children of their candies? I think that the entire neighborhood was collapsed in a sinkhole. No. <laughs> Well, one of you's close. <laughs> one of you's close. Well, the other. no. Maybe both of us. It was a teenage sinkhole. Maybe I, I'll I'm tell you this. Just a teenage sinkhole, baby. The origin of this came from a trash hauler. From a, a, a trash well, okay. hauler. Okay, there's no need to speak about the, world the paper is of record. A trash hauler. <laughs> this is a professional occupation. A trash hauler uh, tipped off uh, officials in Wyandotte about this. You guys want to take one more guess? If you know that it's a trash hauler, oh, 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 oh is it is it a little uh, collection of feral animals that have that have uh, become they, they've they've uh, uh, they've nested they they are breeding in this area and it's too dangerous. Mm. That's something a trash hauler would. He be, he be one one minute he's hauling trash, the next well, minute what? he's got Hold he's on. got uh, raccoon you know uh, 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 scrapes on his face. You want to lock that one in? Yeah. Okay. I will. I'm gonna go counter. I'm going to say that uh, uh, teenagers are <laughs> mm-hmm. emphasizing the trick side of things and, uh, you know, toilet paper rolling houses and whatnot and mm. and all uh, they're trashing everything. And suddenly poor trash hauler has to haul a lot of trash. It was devil's night last night. Did you have any mischief played upon your house? Mm-hmm. I did. Um, mm. My wife got me to MC the spooktacular. Oh, mm. that sounds that's fun it. but but i'll tell that tale tomorrow ah okay. check out great night everybody uh okay well uh, uh, it was an animal it turns out uh, uh some trash haulers realized that um there was such a bad cockroach infestation <laughs> in a vacant home <sighs> that they closed off three city blocks in <sighs> lion Doat. the officials said that Part of it, they needed to close down so much because 
cockroaches are very invasive and they were worried about yes if you're walking the streets you may step on cockroach eggs oh my god but you may also pick them up in your costumes yeah. and drag them around drag the them around uh this is a classic Drudge Report House of Filth story. Y'all remember when, when Drudge would do, I don't know if he still did, does it. Did he call it House of Filth? It would just be House of Filth, and then it would be like Michigan neighborhood shut down because of cockroach infestation or something. Uh, so, so House of Filth was, was never a, a commentary on Congress. No, that was more of his uh, news of the weird kind of stories mm. uh there is one story that i don't know if it's true but it's one of those stories that sounds so true and i guess today is halloween as we record this so so i'll go ahead and tell it uh as though it's true so imagine we're on the campfire and uh, uh when i was working halloween horror nights <clears throat> we were talking about you know just how just how muggy everything is yep. and um a uh, lot of lot of lot of cockroaches. The outside type of cockroaches. By the way, if you see one of those giant cartoon-sized cockroaches in your house, don't don't, don't worry sweat about those. Yeah. They, they, those are those are actually, uh, I believe, technically a, a form of beetle or something that 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 is outside that has wandered its way in. Oh, that's good. I like beetles. Uh, well, uh, I mean, still gross, <laughs> yeah. but but you don't have an infestation if it's, you just it, see it one is, of those. It is dead. full grown yeah. and not breeding necessarily you had a long know. life yeah right the, the 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 interior cockroaches are the smaller sons of uh, sons of guns that are really awful uh and uh luckily uh uh here in texas we have a bit of space space that we can spread out my goodness the stories i hear about you know uh, new york high rises or whatever that are truly infested there's no stopping them but in florida the yeah. outside type the big beetly looking guys yeah. um you would see them around a fair bit would that would that be fair to say? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. no no yeah. The roaches are are everywhere in Florida, especially South Florida. So we were discussing this uh, 10, 12 years ago at Halloween Horror Nights, and somebody said, "Yeah, a friend of mine took one of those fumigation bombs and chucked it into one of those drainage ditches, and just watched as an ocean of Jesus." cockroaches came out and at first they now again this is the ghost story so i don't know how much of this is based in fact well i'm but scared the, the story was just waves and waves first dark and brown the way cockroaches are supposed to be but then as those deepest in there uh were coming out who had never seen the light of day they began to emerge more white i don't know if that's oh, true come that on. sounds like the end of a ghost story it where does. a girl saw yeah. something and her hair turned white or whatever yeah, yeah. but but also but, good job on poisoning the public waterway <laughs> like good job <laughs> actually poisoning the well no, literally. Yeah, that's not that's not what? a public waterway that, that that's just a drainage ditch it all for... goes into the ocean it all goes to tampa who cares <laughs> it all goes into the ocean yeah that's not true. Yes, it is. How? You can't dump. You're not supposed to dump. No, no dumping. No, you're not ever. dumping anything. You're... You put a, a bug bomb down there. That's poison. What do you mean? Do you mean? Uh, all right. Maybe we're thinking of different things. I, I was... I'm thinking of, like, it rains. The it's water like a sewer... goes somewhere. There's those. Uh, lo... Okay, gotcha. I, I was thinking more like under, like, a. Under, like, a bridge? Yeah. Like, like one of those oh. things that goes into the kind of side. Oh, no, 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 no. no, the, no, no this, this was This was, like, a, you know, you see the cockroaches go like, down. Like, like we all float down here. Yeah. Kind of stuff. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, that's great. Yeah, 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 you should not do that. Don't, Don't do that. that. Uh, it all goes to the ocean. Take it from me, uh, 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 Elliot Environment. Uh, <laughs> Elliot it all environment. goes to the ocean. Uh, 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 Elliot Environment. Uh, yes. You're known to promote uh, very worthy causes. Mm -hmm. What is the worthiest cause people should donate to? The sky. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Throw your money uh, in the sky. Okay. Well, and then we'll pick it up. Because we care about the sky. <laughs> Trust that it'll be there. <laughs> you want to hear another great charity? I kind of want to explore this sky uh, thing a little no, bit. No, don't worry. I'll give you another one. <laughs> okay. The water. <laughs> Throw your money, money in, in the, the water. water. Now, now, wouldn't that cause all of the cash to dissolve and fall apart? And make the water richer. <laughs> I, guess, I guess that's literally true.
Would you like another cause to donate to? You know, I'm no longer certain I do. Patreon.com slash weird things. Ah, Elliot Environment knows the rule of threes. And he also knows that you should go to patreon.com slash weird things so you can support this show. That's right. In fact, the number one environmental podcast on the internet ever since we introduced new fourth mic, Elliot Environment. Environment. I love the environment. Uh, we know Elliot. You also get a custom RSS feed to get you the After Things show before anybody else. That's Exclusivity right. reigns, unlike the environment <laughs> where everybody wins. Elliot Environment here saying, remember to pick up your trash uh, and <laughs> donate and to this to money sky. and then <laughs> take your trash and put it in your wallet. That's where you should be putting your yeah. trash. Put your money where your mouth is, which is supposed to be kissing a tree. <laughs> reduce, but reduce. It's in your but instead it's in your wallet. Take your trash and put it in your wallet. <laughs> Money's a fake concept invented by the man to keep us down, struggling to, to subdue Mother Gaia. No, not Mother yeah. Gaia. Yeah, put trash in your wallet. Oh. Put your money in the environment. Can, can, can we... Alien environment's getting more militant. We're evolving the character. <laughs> It's that scene from American Psycho, and they're comparing the trash in their wallets. <laughs> A Sprite bottle. <laughs> can, can, can we talk about the confusing nature of uh, these uh, recycling bon mots that uh, make it onto Instagram or whatever, these so-called life hacks, where, where it's like... Um, uh, Take your old milk jugs and plant uh, 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 alfalfa in it. Then you have a pot for alfalfa. And I'm like, great. A and after that? <laughs> well, then you're growing like, alfalfa. You're right. Yeah, then just throw it away, I guess. No, I, I mean, keep, keep, keep growing it. alfalfa. Keep growing alfalfa. Okay, but but never <laughs> stop growing <laughs> alfalfa. Only grow you alfalfa. Keep on growing, growing alfalfa. alfalfa. Never I, ever stop. I, ever. I, at, at some point, you're just. Why do you hate the earth? Is the Mister Start and Stop Alfalfa? Oh, I thought you cared. Now you're gonna throw I that milk want jug away. A little bit. I, mean, I only want some okay. alfalfa. At, at some point, the milk jug. Why didn't jugs... we do this on Earth Day? This was a great thing on Earth Day. Go. I mean, at some point, your your consumption of milk jugs outpaces your ability to have have. Okay, meat Hitler. For pots. <laughs> oh yeah, wow. no, no. I just I drink so much milk, I can't I, afford to grow out. I'm drowning in jugs <laughs> over oh, here, man. Yeah, Mr. Real, Hefner, real juggalo. Yeah, a ju yeah, ju and juggalo. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm gonna call you. I see him juggling the milk. You and I should go, go oh. to the gathering of the juggalos where you just drink so many milk jugs that you can't grow alfalfa. I in love it. milk and fago. Yeah, <laughs> I think that might be the. First. I'm gonna be here at Alfalfa Growers Anonymous. We don't we don't need to even tell each other our names because we we're so secure in our alfalfa growing. <laughs> Was <laughs> Was that a first time sentence? I want you to go to the gathering of juggalos and grow alfalfa. If it ain't, it ought to be. <laughs> Look it up. I got a story for you guys here. Oh, thank Christ. <laughs> <laughs> thank the Lord Jehovah. So there. <laughs> If you yeah, hold on, did yeah. you just change Lord's mid word? <laughs> Thank the Lord Jehovah. <laughs> I wasn't sure what he's going by now. I want to be respectful. He loves that empire. In 2022, state of mind. you you know you, you want to be you want to be careful. You want to get you it right. You ended up disrespecting both by mispronouncing one or dropping the, uh, no, I, the I other. No, I just put a what little the Jay Leno of thanking uh, deities. Wow, I, Justin. I just put a little English on it. <laughs> You ever know You ever know You ever know I got you know the Lord Jehovah. Right. I, I got a I got a hypothetical for you. Give me, give me it, give me. So it. let's say that you, uh, uh, let's say that you uh, have a friend who has a house. Likely, yeah. okay. And that friend, you believe, is being falsely evicted from that home. Okay. The the police are there. They're trying to serve. And you believe fully, hey, I, we got the paper. We know that this is not a real, this is wrong. Hey. All right. We got a con, we've got a confrontation brewing here. All right. So we are stepping in on behalf of our friend who is getting evicted. And we think, we believe that it is wrong that Correct. that has happened. A wrongful eviction. A wrongful eviction. 
Um, what do you do? How do I you mean, help your uh, friend? This this friend. Uh, I assume we trust him implicitly. Uh, y- yes. Or her. Sh- sure. Yep. A- either. Or uh, or any third options even. Yeah, exactly. They, they them's she's yours. Yep. All of them. Uh, okay. First of all, we're standing up for what's right, Bri. First of all, look, fighting I, for the weak. Justin, this is not cool. I'm uh, no. Well, mm. it's not. Well, it's fall. I mean, no, I, I, <laughs> they're they're it's getting nice moderate. They're getting evicted. Yeah. Tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a magic trick for the police officers. You you find out what you can. Let's let's get ready to secure burn this, the house this. down. No, well, I was thinking more secure shelter for our friend. Oh no, we want to keep them in their house. Yes, which will be shelter for them, yeah. our friend. Yeah, yeah. So I think we just run a distraction. Okay. Can you do cops, a magic trick, and Brian? And the cops are scared, so they run away. <laughs> All right, let me pitch this for you. All right. So next thing you know, the cops are coming in, and we dress like ghosts. Uh-huh. So we just need to need to make sure that our friend, we clue our friend in, maybe text him and say, uh, uh, "Hey, I'm glad to leave." Uh, ever since you know what, the, 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 let, the, let me the, put our friend on speaker. Beep, boop, 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 bring, bring. Hello. <laughs> hey, hey, buddy. hey, hey your friend. Hey, what's up? What's <laughs> up? Hey, look. Uh, uh, this is gonna be. Did you hear that commotion outside? You know, I went to law school, right? <laughs> I mean, right. I know you've <laughs> set foot. In I went. Law I went to law school. I know you've you've shaken am, hands with the lawyer. I am a lawyer, right? I'm making air quotes because I'm realizing this is an audio medium. Yeah. Right. So here's the deal. Very simple plan. Mm. Friend, Mm -hmm. all you have to say to the cops is, thank God I'm leaving here. It's been (laughs) awful ever since the ghosts of the dead knights keep rattling these chains yep. all up and down my hallway. I can't sleep. All right. Listen, and by the way, Good luck uh, 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 dealing with it because they hate the police. Okay. Uh, they I, hate I, the police. I, I, so we just I, I, need to say okay. that. You say that to I the I say cops. all of that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, boop, boop, boop. Oh, We've hung up on our friend. No, I had questions for our Too friend. Too late. Oh, man. Too late. So you much only get know. one call. Like, like, does he have a deed to the property? Is he allowed there? We're not going to look. We're going to have all the mortgage? time in the world to do it. Okay. <laughs> Here's what we need I mean, I mean, we need two full like, suits I, of armor. Okay. Well, when we need a lot of chains. Okay, well, I mean, I I, I just brought sheets because you said ghost. What? <laughs> I, I brought sheets to put over us, and okay. I, I've cut out eye right, holes. Then do me a favor. Yeah. Uh, how? I need you to make noise like it is clanking armor. Okay. All so right. So you go mm-hmm. ahead. Three, two, one, go. Uh, uh cl- clang, cl- click, clop, j- bong, bong, ding, ding, Perfect. Ding. You're doing great. Boy, boy, get over here. Help yep. me. That's that's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. So now, yeah, mix in that you're a ghost knight and also rattle chains at the same time. Right. Okay. Well, I was going for more blacksmith, but that's fine. I get, maybe you're overhearing the blacksmith. So, no. Yeah. The connection. Whatever. Look, it's right. it's spooky. Right, right. We don't oh, know uh, what's uh, happening. Ding dong, ding, uh, chick, chick, beep, beep. Uh, Oi, sir. Uh, uh, please don't hit my chains, chains, chains. rattle the chains. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> it's really hard to be delicate. Choo choo ching, choo choo ching. Life fully works. No, 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 no. This is great, great audio. Jingle, jingle, sleigh bells, sleigh bells. S L A Y. Is this is sorry? Is the purpose of this whole bit just to torture me? No, yeah. we're oh, ready to okay. go. All right, all right. We're okay. ready to go. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. What? It's what? the police. Get evicted. Hey, uh, shouldn't you wear a sheet too? Or yeah, why, yeah. Why do no, no, no. I'm, 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 I'm wearing a sheet. Okay, good. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, 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 the, the, the door opens and I approach the police. <laughs> ching, ching, I ching, ching, am ching, the harbinger ching, of the ching, dead knight ching, ching, who rattles his chains. Ching, ching, I don't make ching, any noise. Ching, I just ching, recede ching, into the bathroom. Ching, 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 ching,
uh, boys, we got a ghost over here. We got to get the <laughs> f out of here. Hey, uh, 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 man, I'm starting to feel You're like I was set keep up. Going. Keep, keep going, going keep going. Uh, We're almost selling the oh, franchise. Oh, ching ching. Oh, come on. Scootily do. <laughs> Oh, ring a ding ding and five chains too. Are you scared? Where, what are the police doing? <laughs> the police are scared. They are peeing their pants and they are calling their mommy all at once. So that's one way the situation. I'm giving goes. Brian a gigantic thumbs up from the bathroom. <laughs> I, I wink, but he can't see it because I have a sheet over my head. Uh, smash cut, cut 30 years later <laughs> uh, uh, A stereotypical jock With his uh, 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 prom queen girlfriend Well My dad told me about the ching chang Doodly do <laughs> By the way uh, Dan Daniel J. Newman in the chat So weird things without Andrew again huh? <laughs> so that's one way it could have happened <laughs> Uh, but uh, <laughs> Hampton County police de deputies were not peeing their pants and calling their mommy uh, earlier this month. Uh, one Rory S. Woods, age 55, pleaded not guilty at her arraignment uh, just a couple weeks back in Springfield District Court uh, because for multiple counts of, uh, let me make sure I get this exactly correct, uh, of uh, battery and assault uh, on, oh. on these officers here. Ching wait, chang doodly wait, hold do. On. The cops showed up to evict. To evict. Uh, to evict. Uh, uh, it's an elderly man who lives in the house. Right. Uh, she, uh, the the friend, was eventually charged with assault and battery by means of a dangerous weapon. Parentheses blank. Chains. That'd be pretty great. Uh, what if I told you that uh, that this woman was also uh, just as a hobby? She liked to keep bees. No way. We were talking about this last night. I was describing my daughter, Josie, is finally playing Bioshock. And I was like, uh, she was like, how many I played this before? I was, I was like, I don't know. Do you remember shooting bees from your hands? And she was like, that's not a thing. That's just a meme. And I was like, no, it's a thing. It's and a it's thing. in this it's game. It's great. And, and, uh, and now you're telling me she attacked with bees? Yeah. <laughs> she did. So she, uh, this is the greatest. This is the greatest thing I've ever heard. She pulled up with uh, with her. <laughs> oh my god! The, she showed up in a beekeeper outfit. No, she put the beekeeper outfit on at the scene. Actually, <laughs> she didn't even wear it immediately. So she pulled up with uh, a trailer full of uh, uh, of these beehives, and um, it's a. It was a cold day. It was a colder day. Oh no! So, so they weren't very active. Well, they weren't. So she just had to shake them a little bit. And, oh! Uh, uh, and that got the bees going. That got them going. Um, a couple of police officers got stung. Um, some of apparently, <laughs> when one of them had yelled or or, or insisted that uh, one was allergic, she said, "Quote: Oh, you're allergic. Good." <laughs> Well, once you're pot committed on loosing a swarm of bees on law enforcement, then you should be getting your villain one-liners in, in. In for a drone, in for a queen, I guess. Yeah. Uh, the uh, 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 first of all, that outfit looks amazing. It, uh, it, it. I almost wish that there was a bit of misdirection, like she showed up with like a fencer's foil and put on what looks like a fencing outfit, but then, haha, -ha, it's and a then bee kicked keepers. over her <laughs> yeah. her bee yeah. things. Yeah. <laughs> uh, also, uh, uh, one of those, like, um, uh, I don't know, one of those subreddits that features weird looking things. Dude walking down the street, he just had a queen bee in his hand. You know how people do bee, bee beards? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This guy, uh, I, I want to say Indonesia or something, uh, uh, entire right hand completely encased, uh, or his whole right arm encased in bees. And I guess. Uh, I mean, who wants to be the guy that mugs that guy? You get to go anywhere with impunity. That's why he's front and center at the World Series. <laughs> he's, on, he's on the field. Nobody can say no to the man with the arm encased in bees. When I die, make sure to bury me with my bee-covered <laughs> arm. <laughs> no, I can't do that. They're not going to live that long. Uh, but, uh, uh, yeah, so uh, apparently uh, uh, the, the occupant of the house was i guess in a very predatory loan and um had already been in the process of of bankruptcy and they were 
this is a whole paper trail thing, but um, but she did uh, in fact do it. It seems, and she pled not guilty the other day. So uh, not guilty to what? What is the charge, officer? <laughs> did you uh, 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 violate statute seven twenty three point eight? Sh- uh, 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 sh- be attack. <laughs> Uh, we, uh, we, we here it is assault and battery by means of a dangerous weapon parentheses B. bees okay hold on I mean I guess you can probably get rung up on a charge like that if you're like sicking a dog or something on right. somebody so that's probably where they're getting the the legal justification for it yeah reportedly it was like a swore it was a big it was not just a couple of bees I think four or five officers got stung uh so you know how when you go to the bank, they've got the, you know, giant glass wall and a little tiny, you know, gap to exchange money. My yeah. bank doesn't have that. Uh, uh, well, uh, some rough parts of town, mm. they've, they've got banks like that. Bonnie wanted to, uh, or postulated what it would be like to just have a, just put a tube and just start dumping bees in there <laughs> and say, you want more bees? Give me the money. Which I thought was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Although apparently illegal. We That's find right out now. now. I mean, we find out now. Both robbing a bank by force yeah. and using bees illegal. You wouldn't be robbing it. You'd just be cajoling You'd them. just be to- a, I strong. I request, I gently request that you give me all the money in this bank. <laughs> I'm not demanding anything. You remain in charge of your own life. I guess it's also all- here are bees. It's a little <laughs> less bad if you don't want money. If you're just senselessly... Stuffing bees into a, a banker's a teller Ooh, box. Hold, hold if on. You, if, you, if you're just doing a far lower stakes version of Fight Club, oh yeah, no, no, no. it's just the worst version of improv everywhere. So, so <laughs> if if you if you just attack with bees, then you're uh, what in, in, engaged in terrorism, uh, assault and battery, uh, assault and battery, or uh, yeah, or the dangerous weapon. Uh, okay. Uh, how are they going to prove Isn't that, that you robbed the bees? Than, than robbing robbery because because if you're robbing a bank, wouldn't that be less? Well, but it, we would still have the robbery with with the dangerous weapon, assault and battery, the bees. My bees ain't snitching. Whereas, <laughs> <laughs> whereas you avoid the we, robbery charge. We, we now call to the stand drone seven two two four three five nine nine seven beta. <clears throat> uh, 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 Assault command, protect queen, protect queen, protect queen. <laughs> uh, 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 unusual circumstance, humidity, high, uh, uh, flowers, none. Protect queen, protect queen. Initiate stabbing, uh, sting, die. That's what the bee would testify. Oh, I thought you were still the lawyer. No, 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 no. Because no, you were that, setting, you that, were that setting was, it up. I thought you were going to go to of, me of, and of I bee. would be the bee because I had a line. Oh, what was uh, eh, it's fine. No, no, no. No, yours was good. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got a story for you guys. All right. It's family photo day. Woo. Hey. Hey. We love it. I would love to show you this first. We love it. (laughs) (laughs) I'd love to show you this first photo. Family photo day. We We love love it. it. Uh, what is this a picture of? I mean, it looks like looks planet like Earth. Earth. That is Earth. NASA's, Welcome to Earth. This was captured by NASA's Lucy spacecraft. Did you guys know the Lucy spacecraft? No. Uh, is it the one that can use 100% of her brain? <laughs> <laughs> wow. What a deep cut to such a bad movie from so long ago that we only remember because it was in our summer movie draft. R.I.P. Uh, 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 no, it's not the 99% oh, okay. of her brain. But uh, the, the Lucy spacecraft, as uh, reported by our friends at Gizmodo, is on a six-year journey to Jupiter to study the Trojan asteroids, two groups of rocky bodies that lead and follow Jupiter as it orbits the sun. Um, now, isn't that fun? Well, I'm, I'm waiting. Are there bees on it? Oh, well, let's get everybody in the family photo, actually. Why don't we just... Hey, get, let's d- get d- them d- all, d- yeah. All right. And... Oh! Oh, is that the moon? That's the moon, baby. So uh, Lucy captured this photo. It's as uh, I'm sorry, audio listeners, but uh, it is it is an at scale uh, uh, photo of the moon and the Earth uh, kind of op- oppose each other. Uh, picture picture uh, smaller than a dime held at arm's length and then in your in your right hand mm. and, and spread the two wider than your shoulders apart. And then the other one is like about the size of a BB in your left hand. Sure. Does does that sound about right? Yeah. yeah. No. Or like a small like a shirt button. It really it's, is a striking image. Like 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 the the negative space is really beautiful. Uh, yeah. The the moon is much much farther than you would expect and much much smaller than you would expect. 
Uh, uh, yeah. Although just I a little I, guy. I don't know if they're exactly opposite each other in that photo. It could be. Uh, uh, the uh, uh, did they capture captured it? Wait, it's it's not at apogee. It's the uh, there's another word. Perigee. Apology. <laughs> I, I think it's perigee. <laughs> um, uh, in in that You're photo, welcome. they are I believe two hundred and thirty eight thousand miles apart in this photo. Um, I guess I'm not exactly sure the the, the perfect distance there, but uh, this was thirty two thousand miles. Yeah, compared to what their normal orbit would be versus the perspective, right? Is there foreshortening going on, or is right? It... Like, like is the uh, moon, you know, kind of like uh, appearing to be closer to the Earth, but but farther away from the camera, right? Yeah. Um, some of the other photos from Lucy included uh, some 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 really cool photos of the moon, uh, like this one. I'll I'll tell you what, th this photo is gorgeous, but it does sort of hammer home how good backyard astronomy is. Um, uh, I how think so? we, uh, well, I think we've talked about how, uh, you know, I've got a, a, I don't know, six, $700, eight inch Dobsonian telescope that I just hold up my iPhone to take a picture of. Hmm. And then when you zoom in on it, it's, it's not too far off from, from, that that literal object passing the moon. <laughs> I mean, it's it's uh, backyard astronomy. It's a good time to get into it yeah. before before all the advertisements light up the sky. <laughs> They've even uh, stitched a few a few of these high resolution black and white photos together to get, uh, especially when you zoom it out, you can see the the uh, the cross section of the center of, of the illuminated part of the moon. So that's pretty uh, that that's also a secret of backyard astronomy is. Uh, the uh, don't don't look at the full moon it's really boring uh look at uh, a, a crescent is awesome oh really yeah huh oh because i guess you get shadow you yeah, get more shadows yeah, yeah. you get you get a bigger them. sense of depth yeah uh so these are uh some of the last bits that i think we're gonna see from lucy for a little while uh lucy's going to jupiter um, but she's Lucy's going to college, do, do <laughs> and we know, we're not going to see her as much. For, but do we know what's special about excited. these orbital bodies that it's that Lucy's going to visit in Jupiter? Uh, so Lucy is going to go and examine the. Uh, let me. Let, what, what did I say again? The arm. The, it, it sounded like the a, Trojan asteroids. Yeah. So so uh, asteroids would convey that uh, they weren't formed at the same time. The way like you know, uh, many moons are, hmm. but, but instead these are captured objects in space or, or in, in orbit. Uh, yes. Uh, 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 per Wikipedia, the Jupiter oh Trojan, God. commonly called Trojan asteroids, or simply Trojans, are a group of asteroids that share the planet Jupiter's orbit around the sun. Oh, oh, so they're not even orbiting Jupiter. They're, they're just um, they're hanging in, out in, in, the, uh, in the cycle. In the belt. Yeah, they're in the orbit of Jupiter. Outside uh, of the asteroid belt. And so the, the Trojans, I, I believe, are leading here, and then the Greeks are trailing Jupiter. Is that right? It's clockwise? Yeah, and then meanwhile, uh, around Jupiter is a noticeable gap uh, where presumably its gravity well is cleared out anyone who dares get near Jupiter. Yeah. Uh, but uh, but so, so that implies that, I, I guess, when you first said it, I was picturing like one or two orbiting Jupiter, but they're not. They're a whole cluster of them, so it's just going to hop around asteroid to asteroid which seems like it'd be a target-rich environment. Yeah, and I, I'm, I'm assuming they're going to go and study the trajectories and how all those different bodies react with each other. Uh, do you guys want to see a really gross monkey? <laughs> Who's ever said no to I that? Have, I've never <laughs> wanted to react faster. <laughs> yes, I would like to see a real gross monkey. So, do you know the AA? It's my, it's my favorite Primus album. <laughs> Have you it's ever... my favorite Beastie Boys track. <laughs> Rose Monkey. Have you ever heard of the AA Monkey? A Y E A Y E. Oh, I was gonna say. Yeah, no. I I knew him in college, but you can tell why <laughs> he's the AA Monkey now. Uh, well, they are um, noted for being just little ugly little gremlin guys. Well, they're uh, they're trying their best, but this is what they look like. What oh, I have seen happening? I have seen pictures of that back in the day uh, uh, with weird things. We used to do streams where it would just be we would just get weird looking animals. Like sometimes it was like cryptids or whatever, but uh, it would be kind of like we used to do on on uh, a NSFW show, just like new champion or or old or same champion. And we would just show weird animals 
like going like you know throughout everything then we'd bring like one of the you know favorites back for one final battle but i'm almost positive that we in one of our video in one of our streams did that crazy uh, crazy look at monkey to describe it for audio like i yeah. i would swear this is a bat if i oh. just saw it or a rat or something like that like it, it it very much has a pointed snout and gigantic uh comically uh, uh extended ears and, mm. and and a color of eyes uh, uh first of all it's uh eyes are uh, uh pinpoint right the oh. reverse of dilated ah, boom, that's um, very high resolution that that <laughs> color is I don't know, almost almost yeah. like lime green. It's 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 bonkers. Yeah. Uh the ears, I mean it looks like the head of a bat and the claws of a bat <laughs> <laughs> and the feet of a bat. Uh, to be kind of looks like it's a bat. Totally a bat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh so wow. it's uh it's a it's an AA. This is um let me see. Hey, I, don't, hey. I don't think this is the one in question, but we've got a video of one of them. Oh, dear. and uh, we have a video of it doing something that we've never had captured on video before. Uh, first of all, uh, I don't know what I'm looking at, but it looks like a parkour setup. Uh, <laughs> it looks like vision. He says, it's night vision. And uh, there are a bunch of frameworks that it looks like he's crawling up on. A little terrifying. Yeah. Uh, He's he's licking his hand. He's picking his nose with a stick. He's doing the human blockhead. My word. What if I told you that wasn't a stick? That's his nail? That's her entire third finger. No, it's not. Yes, sir. It is picking its nose all the way to the back of its brain and eating them brain boogers. It's got it looks like a it's gotta be like that a, can't eight be a inch hand. finger. No, oh, lemurs my have God. A, ha, lemurs have, I wanna say, six uh fingers and uh, uh t the third and fourth ones are extra long they're for wrapping on rotten wood and extracting grubs from within oh my god and this it's, is it's new full on human blockhead this it's, is new uh, uh footage we'd never seen this kind of monkey pick its nose pick its yeah. nose and eat it yeah uh, we don't exactly know why, but uh, do we know why humans do either? well i mean for, uh, certainly like if he oh wow the way the way it's looking uh, uh, its finger. This was more treat than trick. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, it definitely nom, looks... Nom, 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 it, nom. It, lovely, if, lovely. If, if there were parasites out in the wild, I would totally picture picking out the grubs and then eating the protein. Um, mm. But but this appears to be in captivity. I... I, I think he's just straight bored. He just wants to pick <laughs> his nose and eat it. It's just like, uh, is this what you want? Do you love this? <laughs> Is this, is this why you captured me and put me in this parkour gym? So this is a Kali, a female AA in the Duke Lemur Center in North Kakalaki, North Carolina. Um, and yeah, apparently we I don't believe we have had video footage of, of monkeys picking their nose, even though it seems like the most it would, it, that seems like one of well, the I, gross I, things monkeys would do. You would have been. Yeah, you, you would have uh, 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 gone a long time having bet that one, not having your ticket come in because you would have think with all the other crazy crap monkeys do that picking their nose would have happened by now. Yeah, I mean, uh, wait, is it just the picking in the nose or of the insertion of, of like third knuckle uh, uh, in the nostril? It actually might be the the sticking her finger back in her mouth to ingest it, if I had to guess. Eat I'm it, picking yeah. the nose and eating it. Uh, I, I'm, I'm trying to look here and see if that specifically is mentioned, but uh, I have to imagine that's a part of it because monkeys, I mean, I mean, look, uh, uh, with fingers. Look. We're dancing around it. We all know what the first viral video we saw around 1999 was. It was it was a monkey picking its butt, smelling the finger, and falling over. I mean, yeah, classic. The yeah. internet was that was the first brick of the internet. <laughs> the cornerstone. That was the cornerstone. You're telling, you're telling me it took uh, over 20 years for us to <laughs> get the much more obvious image of a of a monkey picking its nose. I don't know. I I'm not fooled. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I call I call uh, 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 hood, hoodwink peduncum. What would we, what were we talking about on Saturday? Uh, oh, I think you were just describing a project, and you were asking if I would be fooled. And then, uh, oh, it, it was a Colbert report. Uh, uh, or, uh, Col oh Colbert. yes, Colbert Colbert doing a Bryce. Yeah, here's a test I like to call: Is Bryce yet as jaded as Brian? <clears throat> okay. Somebody describe for us a bit they do on the Late Show. Hilarious. Where they have a bunch of kids describe plots to a movie 
And then with extreme production quality and celebrity cameos, they execute whatever the kids say. So like, like, like drunk history, but instead of the subjects being drunk, it's kids. And instead of history, it's a horror movie. Right. Okay. That sounds like good. Okay. Would you be fooled? Would I be fooled? <laughs> This is co- immediately as oh as uh, as, yeah, as, as, as this is being I hadn't even thought of this. No. Justin brought it up yeah. and said, wow. "Hey Brian, would you be fooled?" Would and I? I hadn't even considered it. But then production brain entered, <laughs> and I thought to myself, "Yeah, that would be much more expensive to go out and buy all the props to make their vision a reality." Seems like a PA would go up and say, "Hey, we got five dinosaur costumes, four blood squibs. Uh, can you guide the kids to say something?" Where we can use those. Oh, uh, would I be fooled by? So this a, was a, yeah. This, this goes this back to our to our, to our Nathan Fielder of oh, the rehearsal uh, stuff, of yeah. rehearsal yeah. stuff yeah. where Brian was not fooled <laughs> to the point where it degraded his appreciation of the show itself because he was so consistently not fooled <laughs> that he just had his hands on his hips, yelling at his television, "Not fooling me, Nate." <laughs> Not this time. This- ha, ha, ha. You think that fools me? Uh, but uh, uh, yeah, so I, I decided to introduce that brain poison to this very benign party conversation <laughs> just so I could get Brian Vapor locked on the idea of, of these. I mean, I mean, the killer being, part was uh, I hadn't produced. even thought about it until yeah. until you said something. I'm and then I was person. like, oh, yeah. And like with the late night stuff, that stuff is always pre planned to a certain degree. Of course, they have to produce I mean, it in like 72 every hours. Every day, like, right? Yeah, they're not taking chances. Yeah. No, mm. I you know what's funny is I would have been fooled, but my eyes were opened by you, Justin. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm looking out for you. <laughs> I'm looking out. For you. Uh uh so the uh again from Gizmodo, possible nose picking motivations for the AA monkey include alleviating discomfort, getting a small amount of hydration from the mucus, or even reducing bacteria's ability to attach to teeth. Apparently the team did a uh C T scan of the A the I A. Is it? I don't know if it's A or I. I. Let's say A. Yeah. Um, they found out that that long third finger finger. <laughs> stop it! No, no we can't stop it. It's we'll Halloween. It. It's, it's, Halloween. Another... it's it... Halloween. Any other day of the year, I would walk right past it. But no, really gather old... around, ghouls and ghosts. <laughs> Behold a treasure trove of imagery that will haunt you to the depths of the night. Just bring it up, right? Bryce, bring the... it up. <laughs> Oh, no, no, yeah, keep yeah. going. Oh, no, you gotta I'm keep producing this. for you. I'm producing. Okay. I'm selling them. Late into the night as you lie awake, you'll hear a creaking on the doorstep. You'll hear a tapping on the window, and you'll wonder, is it a benign creature, or is it the fingler? <laughs> oh, no, Obama's... Oh, oh, this is not what I thought it was going for. This Wait, is great. <laughs> no, what... Oh, okay. So, uh... <laughs> So apparently that third extended finger uh, is so long it probably reaches the pharynx, a.k.a. the back of the animal's throat, through that nostril cavity. So it is kind of human blockheady. I, yeah, uh, uh, that's further. L- literally part of the script when I do it. As I, I explain, it's sword swallowing in miniature. It goes straight back, and w- when it mm. ends, I can feel it in the back of my throat. Ah, okay, here we go. Uh, so that video adds the AA to a running list of 12 t- primate species that have been observed picking their noses. That includes humans. Um, and nice. Part Wait, of it is, for reals? Yeah. Humans do that? Pick their nose, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Uh, I mean, and- I didn't even... Gross. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, can Gross. You do that? Wow. I'll try that at home sometime. I don't know. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, the, the AA is also uh, an endangered. Um, uh, they are from Madagascar, and there's a lot of habitat lost. Uh, and also, they're uh, an icon of superstition. So mm. the, the, there's also just not a lot of the kind of bad luck. Uh, so not a lot of attention paid to that. So, uh, gross. Yeah. <laughs> In summation, <laughs> gross. gross. Uh, Your honor. <laughs> uh, one last real quick story. We're going back to Good. space. Uh, uh, uh-oh. <laughs> what, Bryce? <laughs> Someone hit Mars. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Look, uh, hey, 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 hey. Mars, Mars, calm down. Yeah. Calm down. Oh, no, 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 no. Look, look, look. No, 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 no. 
First of all, surprised you're crying. You're kind of the god of war. Uh, I've been alone for a long no, time. Okay. Uh, you know what you have? I'm just out here in space. Didn't didn't you used to be teeming with life at one point, maybe? Lots of water, well, habitable Earth like environment. Are you beating up on are you picking <laughs> on me? Someone just hit me. No, like what I'm is just that? Saying, hey, go back to those days. Oh, Remember okay. how that felt? Would okay. old Mars have taken okay. that? Uh, I, I wouldn't have I mean, I guess, as much. I, I guess you did because yeah. eventually you became this desiccated, rotted Again, corpse. I really just don't know <laughs> what you're doing. Like, why planet. would you come talk to me if you're just going to pick on just me? I'm so on far away from you. you up. Okay, okay. All right, Mars, listen. Just trying to what did be you do? by myself. Why did you deserve I want to be my, Why did I deserve it? <laughs> oh, I mean, I no. assume you did why something. Why did you to go across the cosmos to <laughs> hey, gaslight hey, me? Mars, Mars, <laughs> you and I. It's me, Earth. We've been best oh, buds no. from the beginning. It was awesome. Remember, remember when we were young, we were both filled with oxygen and, uh, and water and all of the necessary ingredients for life? Uh, yeah. And I would never do anything to undercut your success. I don't feel like you would. <laughs> no, no. I kind I mean, of like, feel like you keep it's planning it's I to care. like come here and hey, hit me. Hey, you've and... got two. You got twice the number of moons I have. I don't know if I want to make. I mean, they're kind of you weird. You keep talking deform, about me. Like one's a peanut, kind of flopping around, and again, very weird and aggressive. We the way both that you have talk magnetic feet. Uh, uh, sorry. Wow. For, table that one. Look, we're All both right. cool wow. planets. Wow. I don't know why are you here. <laughs> I'm here to help. I no, heard you're somebody not. hit you. You're not. Uh, the day is December 24th, 2021. The day before the Webb Space Telescope launches. And a rock hurdles through the Martian atmosphere. And uh, left this crater. We actually have a side-by-side. -side. It's a thin atmosphere. But, but I mean... It's we, fine. It's plenty it's of atmosphere. Fine. It's enough atmosphere. Uh, take a look at this before and after photo, folks. Oh, wow. A, uh, a crater nearly 500 feet across uh, is added to the Martian landscape here. Uh, last week, uh, NASA announced that uh, uh, that this crater was ca probably caused by a 17 to 33 feet uh, a uh, uh, rock that collided with the planet. You're just throwing trash on me. <laughs> yeah, no. Why no. are you throwing trash Look, on we me? We all have our gifts. I protect with a thick, lush atmosphere, and I me, I you can I try to burn up things that try to enter my planet. Plus, I have this giant moon that sort of sweeps the gravitational area around me but uh, but look man you got those tiny things that don't sweep anything away and not much of an atmosphere so you know you're tough yeah tough who's who's got a bigger who's got the biggest mountain slash volcano i don't know it's big uh, uh mm -hmm. you got that thing on your planet yeah that big ass Olympus. pimple on your face man it's big. i don't like any of you <laughs> <laughs> you're all terrible <laughs> So <laughs> you're just throwing trash on me and then and then yelling at me. You're yelling at me. Why would you yell at me? You're just Mars? pointing out all of my faults and Mars? I don't we point you out be your faults. And among them, by the way, I would list throwing trash on me and then making fun of me. Mm. That shows low moral character. Okay, look, I uh, oof, no wonder they call you the god of war. Look at oh spicy, this one. The god of raw. <laughs> Eddie Murphy's raw. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to be snapping on you. <laughs> You're like, uh, I saw this red planet. You're like, wasn't me. <laughs> cool. uh, so uh, apparently the meteor strike had actually been detected by NASA's InSight lander. Uh, that lander is about 2,150 miles away from the impact site, and it registered seismic waves that were generated by that impact. In fact, NASA just thought that there was a, a Mars quake, <laughs> but it actually got, the planet got hit. Uh, oh, man, I guess a Mars quake would have been... Probably killed all the Mars dinosaurs. <laughs> That's right. They're all gone. They were very small. <laughs> uh, so polite, though. Oh, hello. Just uh, a Mars dinosaur <laughs> here. I hope that there's not a gigantic rock. <laughs> I got you! Oh, oh, no, dearie me. Oh, dear. Was that... That our, that that rock wasn't from Earth, was it? We're the polite Martian dinosaurs <laughs> living a fun little life. <laughs> We're small and cute and very nice, but everyone wonders when we'll die. 
<laughs> oh no, there seems to be a gigantic rock. Oh. Oh, drat and double drat. It seems that we're extinct. Drat and double drat. So the... Uh... Very polite Martian dinosaurs. Nasus. Oh. Drat and double drat. <laughs> Nasus. That's going to be my new... <laughs> Nasa's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter also took this hot, uh, this full color uh, photo of the impact site. Uh, you might notice uh, uh, bits of ice that have been uh, brought up to the surface. Ooh. Well, fiddle dum I'm freezing. Uh, <laughs> so, so I assume that the bits of ice, um, the big question would be whether or not that was CO... Uh, no, that, that has to be water ice, I assume. I presume so as well. Yeah. No, that uh, uh, that's one of the prevailing theories is that there is water on Mars. It's just just a few inches deeper. Well, we've got uh, we've got a little a little bit of evidence that Miss Miss Brockovich should go up to Mars and save the day <laughs> and complain about the quality of water. Not well. <laughs> uh, hey, you know what? It could be better. It could be better. Uh, anyway, that's my stories for you guys. You going to do some picks? Yeah. Uh, what have you been doing lately? Um, I want to pick. Um. White Lotus. Okay. There was a show called White Lotus on television last year, and it was really fun and good. And Mike White, if you've never seen any Mike White stuff, you should watch more Mike White stuff because it's really great. And this was a, an awesome adaptation of it. Uh, it was such a big hit, despite the fact that it was very clearly a miniseries, uh, a single story that wrapped up everything at the end. Shot but, like in COVID conditions, in all in Which, one resort. By the way, what a brilliant thing for Mike White to do. He's like, all right, look, we can only shoot at one hotel, but how do we maintain production values if we're just at a random hotel? Let's go to Hawaii <laughs> and just have half of the half of the, the entire series be gorgeous, lush, amazing nature shots and water shots and beach shots and everything. Uh, and that'll disguise the fact that our cast is like 20 people. Uh, this time, they have now uh, minted themselves a series where they get to go on vacation and, <laughs> and shoot every season now, which is great. They've brought back the uh, most colorful character from the first season, who is now unbroken. That is the Jennifer Coolidge character. Yeah. Uh, and yet, it's kind of the same show, and I love it. Except this time, they're in Sicily. They're not in uh, uh, Hawaii. And everybody's still kind of weird and horny, and uh, uh, there's hookers, and Mike, Michael Imperioli's there, and so is F. Murray Abraham. It's just a good time. It's, I just like the show. It's in Sicily? Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, because I did not watch the first season, but I was very confused why, uh, uh, well, why clearly they were going to Hawaii. Is there a chance? Did you watch? I might have watched the first episode of season one. HBO Max tried to do that to me too. Did, was there? Did you see the uh, the, Those? the family with the kids, like three kids, and one of them is the friend, and she's dark skinned. Son of a biscuit! You didn't you watch season down. one. I woke up early this <laughs> stupid morning to watch White Lotus wow. season two, and HBO Max helped me out saying, "Hey, I bet you are wanting to watch White the Lotus." First, yeah. I sure do. Uh, wow! I'll admit, okay. first episode of season one was quite good. It's good. <laughs> yeah, it's, good. it's great. You gotta be. Mm. Yeah. yeah. All right, we got to do this that short, to me, too. This show short because <laughs> I got to watch that and Miami Vice now. Oh, I still got to watch Miami Vice. Uh, yeah. But I, yeah. yeah, I think. White Lotus rules. I, I think the first episode of season two, especially, acknowledges <laughs> acknowledges a lot of the shortcomings from season one. Um, you know, they leave the property a little bit. You start to see some of the town. You start to see some of the, the people who, like the, like the prostitutes and uh, like the, it's more of the staff. Um, it's it's interesting. I like it. The characters are very different from the ones in season one, so they're not the same archetypes. They feel... Uh, you know what? You want to know what's funny? Is that I kind of feel like they are definitely different characters, but I feel like they're kind of slotted on similar trajectories mm -hmm. where it's like the, 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 the brilliance of, of season one is that all these people are... And this is Mike White's writing. Uh, he heightens things up to an almost comedic level of their conflicts and that is very much on display 
in this uh, in this episode where everybody that you meet for a show that's largely going to be a bunch of rich people talking to each other, uh, you know that they have active conflicts that are about to boil over and every little weird thing feels like it's going to tip uh, uh, things into the into the wrong direction. Well, I look forward to seeing you are. You are so annoyed that you wow. watched the wrong season. I mean. Angry. You'll come back to it. A, you'll come. You can come back to it because you're gonna love season two, and I think you're gonna like season one. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> I got a pet. Like, and the girl's pregnant on her first day of the job. That's all. First episode, season one. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. That's all right. right. They're in Hawaii. They're in right? Hawaii. Yeah. 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 In fact, then, yeah. They say Sicily a ton in the first episode, just so everyone is very clear that it's in. They're in Italy. Sicily. Was anybody speaking Italian? I was confused when you were describing, like, that was my first tip-off. I was like, ah, Wait. weird that they're wearing flower lays it's and Hawaiian. blowing into conchs uh, yeah. if this is Sicily. Yeah. Uh, You're like, wait, who was Michael Imperioli from also, Sopranos? Yeah. yeah. It, quite literally, the first scene is a guy in an airport say, in the overhead, uh, now heading to Hawaii. Yeah. 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 That's not a village in Sicily. No. Uh, I got a pick. Yeah. Uh, I saw uh, some some of these videos on YouTube the other day, and I thought that the this creator had a nice little channel and a few videos. Not a lot, but I thought they're all really interesting. Um, uh, his name is called Code Mr. Beast. Code no- <laughs> <laughs> Code Noodles. Uh, it was because of this most recent image you, or this most recent uh, video using image recognition to find Mario, and uh, it's it's kind of a nice video talking about uh, kind of high level uh, how this guy made a program to play a mario party game or uh where where you have to find one of the little icons Mm. uh but using image recognition and code and stuff he talks like okay well how did i solve this well we had to put in the icons but then when the icons are covering each other then they won't find the whole icon so now we gotta slice it up in one way and then well sometimes uh, if the icon is on top of another icon, they get in the little corners there, and that breaks. And the also, image. how similar are two different icons if you only catch a little wedge of it off the? Yeah, exactly. Um, I think he explains what uh, the, explains what he did very easily. Um, you see some of the code, you see a little bit, but he really breaks it down and tries to keep it simple, uh, which I thought is really great. And then I ended up watching other videos, like uh, you know the game Geometry Dash. Have you seen? It's a mobile mobile game. Um, well, he uh, uh, taught an AI. He had he used a neural network uh, to. Uh, well, first off, he remade the game. He basically had to make the game ag- it's again so that he could code for it, um, and then uh, taught it how to play this like rhythm one button jumping game. Oh wow! Uh, and and so he builds the first level, and then he builds the other levels, and and you see all the different iterations. It's very it's very cool and very in depth. On what what uh what he did so uh, so uh, what do I search for to find it? Uh, code noodles. We'll also have the show link uh, or have the link in the show notes. But uh, uh, it seems like a a, a cool uh, a cool channel. Check it out. Uh, there's a game that I've been playing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But that's not my pick. Oh my okay. pick is season one of the White Lotus. <laughs> <laughs> I watched the first episode. Seems like it's really gonna go somewhere. <laughs> I'm thinking about skipping the rest of season one and just going straight into the beginning of season two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, season one is really good though too. Oh. <laughs> um it is really good. Um White Lotus, yeah. I'll also that's also a pick of mine. <laughs> uh alrighty, well. Uh, hey everybody, that's gonna do it for the Weird Things podcast. Thank you so much for joining us here for Bryce, Brian, and Justin. It's been weird. Say pick you. Uh, say pick you. Uh, say what? Pick you. Pick you. There we go. Because Justin does that. Sometimes. Oh yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. I'm still filled with rage <laughs> against I, HBO. You Max. know what? So that they tried to do that Keep to me. Keep all of this in, by the way. <laughs> they tried to do that to me because I went back and watched the last episode of the first season to get just kind of back in the mood. And then when I hit play, it was like, oh, you want to, uh, oh, no, it was like, you want to watch the first episode again because you just finished watching the series yesterday. Remember what that? So we reset you. Uh, well, now you're going to know how to compare the opening animation sequences compared to the first season. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it is kind of a bummer because there's one, one, one of the more fascinating uh, uh, plot lines from the 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 first season 
does like like you're you're seeing the fruits of it in in the second season. But I still think it would be a good watch once you finish the second season. Yeah, I don't know. Sh- sh- should we make the <laughs> audible call where I just listen to you guys and I ask questions about it and I get caught up? No, because you wanna, like, that, that, if you that, get that, caught up next week, that's fine. The, 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 the show the show is not particularly. It's like the difference between like plot and story, right? Like where like Westworld, there's a lot of things presumably kind of happening and somebody's yeah. eating an apple and you're like, wait, that's the first time we've seen this character do a thing, right? So you're like putting these pieces together. White Lotus is not really, it's it's more of a character study of all these rich people that kind of want different things and then it, you know, ends in climactic fashion. Yeah. It's kind of a whodunit. It totally is. I think, and I think this second season leans way more into it in that first episode of like, Remember the murder mystery thing? We're really leaning into that, which I think is great. I like it. Yeah. Uh, but I, I did feel like I noticed it. Okay. Uh, you guys want to do just a short after things here? Do you need, need, a, need a break? Uh, Anybody need a break? No. Wait, did we uh, wrap up? Did we already wrap it yeah, up? Yeah. Oh, yeah. you already wrapped it up. Yeah. Right? My, uh, you, you'll never believe what my pick was. What? What do you think it was? Mm, baseball? No, it was uh, season one of <laughs> oh, White Lotus. White Lotus. Gotcha. <laughs> It was very weird why it kept, it kept auto playing after the episode. <laughs> I hacked. I hacked the system. I'm watching the whole season. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, you guys, I got I got a short little thing for after things. Yeah, let's go. Just do a little one. Let's roll. Okay. Well, hello everybody. We'll get started here in one sec. All right. Let's do after things in three, two. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the After Things podcast, all about being creative professionals and online creators. I'm Bryce Castillo, joined, as always, with one Justin Robert Young. Yo. And Brian, always here, Brushwood. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I'm always here. There's one always thing you here. can say about always me. Always here. I got an update on uh, uh, something we talked about a few weeks ago. Uh, uh, that we, we, were, we were putting the, the, uh, an app through its paces, that structured app. Um, a while yeah. I, I went. Oh, uh, 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 before we get to this, though, I just want to. Touch base. Still using note cards? A little bit. Okay. A little, uh, bit. A little bit, he says, in a way that makes me clear that his entire apartment is covered in note cards. Not covered. <laughs> they are around. Dusted. Dusted. <laughs> <laughs> um, but but we, uh, we we talked about the, the structured app a while ago. That's a, 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 a new app about mixing the calendar and the to-do list. Yeah, that, that that's the idea is that it was, you know, trying to find a way that you could fill your day and focus primarily on today. Yeah. So uh, 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 that you are you are being kept on track. It's not overwhelming. Uh, it is just a simple, clean look at what your day is. I gave that a spinneroo and fell off fairly quickly because a, a lot of what I need out of calendar Mm. is to share events with other people. Yeah. Uh and and this is not that. If you want a replacement for that, then then you would probably have to look elsewhere. Yeah. I I think uh I've been I've been using it on and off, which is not exactly a great sign for an app that wants you to pay for it. Um yeah. but I'm so I I'm probably going to drop it as well. Um Do you do you still hate the color scheme? Yes. <laughs> Yo, color scheme kind of stinks. Still not. And also that it like it wants you to pick different colors, but it doesn't just automatically like Remember. assign like oh here's some stuff I always make, bleep yeah. blop. Or 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 even better, and uh, uh, I've not used this, so I can't speak to this, but uh, in particular, but I've been really impressed at the very subtle ways iOS just figures out. Like I've never once told anything where uh, I tend to work every day, but at some mm-hmm. point it just said. You should go to work, <laughs> and it gives the exact address of work, and sure. it's like, uh, all right. Uh, yeah, I mean, when I plug my when my phone connects to the Bluetooth on my car, it knows that it's a car Bluetooth, and so it says, oh, okay, you're probably going. Uh, maybe you're going to work. Uh, right. Take this route route to go. To I'm work. just waiting for it to say uh, uh, it's time for you to go have McConaughey's and salads with Justin. <laughs> it definitely Wait, it definitely does that for me. Oh, it, does it? When oh, I yeah. was here for no, dinner it'll, between it'll, the shows, it's like okay, well, it's uh, only about ten minutes over to where all the food is. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I I've really been fall I've I've fallen off of it. I think um, 
a, a lot of it is it's not easy to make events. It, there's some interesting things that it does with with how um, you know it has icons, it has durations, and it, 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 it I can tell that it's like trying to be a little bit simpler than the very very basic iOS calendar. But it uh, I, I, I just I don't find it very satisfying to use. And I think that's really tough for something that is also a to-do list. You know, I like the Things app because I can just drag and drop stuff. I, I, it is very, very intuitive the way that that app is work works, and that's still not here in this. I, I, I very much believe, and I don't want to crap on the app because, in general, any kind of getting things done app, I, I believe that all of our brains have different ways that that we interact with things, that we want to interact with things, that we are made happy when things slide and click and, and uh, 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 how we get rewarded. Uh, yeah. So like if, if you are into it, then that's great. It, it was just not for me because I, I need to have a level of professionalism in terms of sharing things yeah. that, uh, you know, just for, for, for booking guests and stuff like that. I mean, because otherwise I'm, I mean, I'm in two apps and if I'm, I'm in two apps, then what's the point of the app the that thing. I'm supposed to? Yeah. Well, and uh, on top of that, if if you were to send an invite for like an interview booking or something, would it show up like uh, there's an invite for something from an alien ecosystem? Uh, you would have to you'd uh, have uh, to make it in Google or wherever you're making it, and then sync that calendar to structured, uh, yeah. which is one of their pay features. Like that's another bummer. Is like if you want recurring events. Do you have to? It's a part of their pay. Oh my god! Really? Yeah. So it's 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 real tough like that because I get it. I I see a lot of the UI, but it's it, it uh, uh what have you done for me lately? A little bit, you know. I think it's a cool idea, but they, there's not. A they lot can't of plug into like the the Google ecosystem and and make it like a. Well, they sync the calendar, but they yeah they don't have like access to the invite system. Mm. It's it's that's it's a, <laughs> it's and that's a newer app. It's. I think it's a younger developer, so it's not like we're yelling at. No, here, but. you know they're younger. They don't, they don't yeah. remember MC Hammer. And <laughs> <laughs> younger <laughs> developer, it's just you know they just don't know. They don't know a lot of things. When you, you try to sell them a transformer, they think it's uh, they think uh, you know uh, it's something else. Sorry, we're breaking Let's away from the yeah. latest Biden speech to bring you <laughs> breaking news. <laughs> Rock just hit. Mars, back to President Biden. Corn Pop was a bad guy. Um, <laughs> I don't remember who MC Hammer was. Yeah. Corn uh, Jackie. Uh, so, I don't know. So I think I might go back to the Things app. I was, I did, the one thing that I will say that was a positive out of trying a new app and trying a new modality for getting things done was it made me appreciate the Things app a lot more um, for just how intricate how well it's designed um and it also ended up kind of cleaning out my things app a little bit you know i ended up pausing a lot of recurring things that probably didn't need to be there or stuff that could be could be consolidated or simplified so it's not just a million bullets every day yeah um so uh, at least that was valuable getting kind of a refresh do you, do you guys often do that with whether it's productivity or whatever how often do you wipe the, do the uh not the chicken challenge but the the brushwood challenge with canceling of just all wiping things. everything uh i've yeah. i've never declared email bankruptcy uh much to the consternation of anyone who saw me tweet a uh screenshot of my google 40,000 unread emails 460,000 jesus <laughs> you just forgot one digit there it's not a big deal yeah uh boy that really upset people i got a lot of, i got a it's lot a, of it's badness <laughs> the thing about the phone one is that that goes away just when you open the app <laughs> the phone yeah. just goes away. <laughs> yeah, uh, look, there's a lot of people who want to talk to me about my extended warranty. Uh, yeah. uh, about I got a personal phone call from Governor Greg Abbott and oh. aspiring Governor uh, Ben O'Rourke. Yeah. Amen. Oh wow, man exactly. about town. Brian uh, 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 Mitch McConnell was talking about me apparently the other day. At least about that's what, you. Uh, well, that's what that's what the text oh. said. Uh, also, my name's Alan, which is weird because yeah. that's my dad's name. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I, you know, I have an out-of-town number, and I, 
this is the year that I'm actually getting the in town election spam. Oh, hey, really? congratulations! No, they always they always have me pegged. Uh, I was getting because I got a Florida number. I was getting Oakland stuff, and I was in Oakland. Now I don't get any California stuff. I pretty much just only get Texas stuff. But yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. well, that's a that's a little bit of a productivity update. Do you guys have any any little productivity things happen? Any <gasps> hacks? Any they need little tips. Oh, I can't uh, believe uh, I did this, and it saved my life. Well, here, here's something that uh, I'm only a few months into this experiment, and oh. it sounds like I'm setting up a bit. I am not. Um, waking up early. It's something my friend Justin started doing before me, and uh, I finally am dipping a toe into the water, and uh, boy, oh, boy, uh, do you get a lot done in those first three hours. One might say... You get more done in the first three hours than the rest, the rest of the day. Of the day. <laughs> so, how early are we talking for the group here? Uh, well, well, for 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 me, uh, it used to be I, I would, you know, always be a night owl before I started being better about sleep. Uh, uh, and but even then, I would get up a little bit after nine and then kind of go work into the evening uh, because oftentimes if I'm doing something creative, it's there's kind of that loopy i don't really give an f word uh, you know at uh, you know between nine ten that's that's when i'll write these long-winded emails that the next morning i'll say oh just cut cut that that and then that that's pretty good yeah um but uh but getting up early has started off uh, i guess a month or, uh, and a half ago because on great night uh it was a a known bug of brian brushwood that he can't sleep and uh there, there was some gentle ribbing about it that made me realize, yeah, I should just get up real early, work really hard all day and then collapse into bed. And while the collapsing into bed hasn't gone as well as I'd hoped, I've discovered that you get a lot done when you just get yeah. right out of bed and get right to work. Mm. Uh, in, in general, I would say, and this is for any kind of goals, uh, career goals, physical fitness goals, whatever, uh, the best way that you can help yourself is to establish daily patterns and everything is built on sleep. In my opinion, if you can get sleep into a, a box that your body expects. So you are trying to lay down at X amount of time. You are always waking up at Y amount of time. You tend to fill in, like you tend to be able to go to sleep earlier and wake up earlier. And your body at least has the, the, the recognition to say, Oh, I'm up. It's the morning. Let's go. Uh, uh, but yeah, to answer your question, Bryce, mm. I am up at 535 every morning, gym at 615. And then uh, depending on what I'm doing, I'm either streaming by eight or uh, uh, getting getting stuff done. Uh, wow. I'm, I'm a little bit behind that. I usually wake up like minutes before seven because with the kids going to school, the dogs bark. And so se seven used to be uh, uh, it used to be like I wanted to get up at like 10 or whatever, but, but as I went to bed late, uh, seven was this roadblock in the middle of my sleeping night. And, uh, and now it's like, nope, that's, that's my alarm. Uh, dogs bark. I'm going to get up, up and just yeah. get going. Cause you, you would otherwise come here and try to get another hour, two hours. Yeah, because, yeah. because if, if, if I went to bed close to one or, you know, and hope to fall asleep after one, uh, if I was, if I fell asleep and then woke up, uh, you know, 4 a.m. is close enough, like, oh, I really got to get two hours. Now there's only an hour and a half or whatever. Mm. And then I would, I would uh, uh, run out here and I still reserve the right to. <laughs> uh, but uh, it's your, it's, oh, it's, that was always allowed. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's almost word for word what Bonnie said, because I'm always apologetic. I'm like, I'm not running away in the middle of the night because of anything anybody's doing Ooh, outside of the yeah. dogs barking and the kids making noise. OK, uh, but but uh, uh, but no, uh, ah. getting up early and just deciding you're going to tough it out um, uh, has been really productive. To be honest, that's the reason why I started working out in the morning. Was that you uh, get you get awake once you are well? You just you now. just you know you're gonna go into the buzz saw no matter what. Um, you know I do orange sugar, so that's a guided thing. So it's not even like I can slack off if I'm just like like oh okay. Like when I used to run, and that was the other thing. When I was running, I knew it was three miles, and I would say, well, I can go as fast or as slow as I want as long as I start doing it. And even if I'm like okay, I'm gonna walk today, about like five seconds into it, I'm like, well, 
it still sucks. I'm still outside. Like I might as well run so I can <laughs> Let's be get it done over with. with. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I I tend to find that at least for me, uh, a lot of that is about keeping some of my sour moods at bay. And oftentimes, when if I wake up in a bad mood or I feel like I'm not getting things done, then by the time that that compiles around lunch, like I'm I'm just there's a whole morning that's just kind of spoiled. If I wake up and uh, work out then no matter what, I have at least flushed that initial, whatever that initial uh, 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 bile that I had kind of woken up with, that's, that's gone. Like, I, I, the adrenalines are up. I, I at least uh, uh, will be able to look at the challenges I have in the day with a cleaner, uh, a cleaner vision. Hmm. I, I, uh, I get up later in the day. Yes. I also... Which, by the way, is you're right. And let me just say this. I, I would not say for anybody that you need to be an... A, or an early morning person. That's something that I have found has worked for me. Uh, what I would say is even if you were going to sleep late and waking up late, mm. the more you can define, like if you're a go to sleep by one o'clock, wake up by 10 o'clock person, then just commit to doing that. And, yeah. and don't be like, well, it's 1230. I probably should start playing this video game that I know is probably going to, to extend to, to, to three o'clock. Yeah. Like, like have, have discipline on, on when you're going to sleep and when you're waking up. And I, I'm a big believer in just the health benefits of your body, knowing when it needs to show up and when it needs to start, yeah. you know, rocking and rolling. Cause I, uh, I have a, I, I have a, I think my, my alarm on my phone every day or most, uh, you know, most, most days where I need to get out of bed. <laughs> uh, uh, I want to say it's like, I, I think it's at 9am when it's set to go off um and then even then sometimes i'll just hang out in bed for another hour and do stuff i can get stuff done on my phone and check the, the which is not great like i can tell oh, like no, no, that's no, not no, a, no, actually I, I, not well, a good habit well it's, what's what's funny is I, I i i was until earlier this year the exact same way my entire life and really all i've done is flip that on its head i now am the first to announce i'm going to bed but mm -hmm. then I do all that piddling around in bed. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And then I get out of bed to get a snack, and I see everyone again. I'm like, oh, I'm going to bed for reals this time. It's like, it's like you're like, Otfi. I, I really, <laughs> I, I really am. Because <laughs> I, I have picked up the, uh, I think I've picked up a bad habit from my father, of of just falling asleep just watching tv or something maybe and i'm then, just like my father falling asleep. i'm always falling asleep in front of the tv maybe that, i'm just like brian watching the first season of white lotus when he thinks <laughs> it's the second uh, and so you know you you're not off and then you wake up at four or five a.m and all the lights because i've got those hue lights so the, yeah. the whole place is just dark uh but then you go back to sleep really quick too. But but uh, the other thing about having a set nine o'clock, um, and I think partly by by staying in bed a little bit before actually getting out of bed is, um, is now I'm waking up at like eight o'clock before my alarm, uh, mm. just consistently, um, which is is cool. Bryce, can I give you can I give you a little little little, little life hack? Yeah. And this comes from a place of love, uh, and as somebody who sees when you post your Wordle results, uh... I don't know where to take that. I don't know where to, where to yes say I'm mad, but uh, 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 no, this is a real, a real life hack. Yeah. Uh, when you wake up, mm. you have full permission to f around on your phone for as long as you want, mm. at one cost. You can still sit on your bed, but you just have to put your feet mm. on the floor. You got to be sitting up. So you can sit on the bed and you can and you can futz around with your phone mm. for as long as you want. You have you hours. You can sit on that bed for as long as possible, but the feet got to be on the floor before you look at the phone. You can snooze and roll around and and sleep mm. if you want. Yeah. And and but the 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 combination of phone in the bed while laying down for Boten. Mm. That that would be that that helped me a okay. lot. Yeah. Cuz that was that was one of the things that like first got me better 
about wanting to wake up early because once i mean spoiler alert here's what happens you, you put your feet on the ground and you start screwing around with your phone and then you're like I don't know. I got to go pee. I got to, I'm hungry. Like, I'm all like, naked. You're, you're, like, you're, yeah. Your, your body is just like, ah, whatever. This, this is not, I can do this while I'm walking and I can do this while I'm making food. So it, yeah. it does get you out of bed, but like giving yourself the mental permission to do it just makes your mornings more productive, which means you're like, oh, wow, there's a lot of stuff I can get done, which means you, you tend to go to sleep earlier. That's mm-hmm. what I found. That's, that's a good tip. Um, yeah. That's, and, that's and those, uh, little nudges work in so many different ways where, um, uh, the classic story from some motivational person was uh, he was trying to get a lady to, you know, jog, uh, but she didn't want to jog. Well, like, maybe just walk, just a just hundred yards or whatever. And then reasons, reasons she couldn't do it. And then finally he said, tell you what, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to walk. You don't have to jog. You don't have to do anything. All you have to do is put on your jogging suit and put on your shoes. Just do that. Right. And next week she was like, uh, he's like, well, did you even, and she, and she says, I ran four miles. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, it's like you, that, that, that bargain with yourself, yeah. that first step really matters. Well, and I think a lot of what, you know, we would consider to have negative patterns, uh, are, is a lot of our brain just kind of trying to think through things and stalling out because we don't do it. You know, it's like, yeah. like, oh, well, like, I know how to lose weight or, or gain more muscle. I'll just diet and, and exercise. And then you start thinking in your head, like, okay, well, that's a simple thought. Well, do I have to go to the grocery store and what do I buy? And do I need to get a calorie tracker? And also where should I work out? And should I just do body weight exercise? Should I join a gym? And then just our seem- brain just stalls out on like, okay, way too big of a problem. Way too many variables. What do you say we just, Punt this one down the road, and then you just kind of keep punting. Well, and and even with, um, uh, like for example, what the most the best uh, health I was in was when I gave myself permission to eat anything and exercise as much or as little as I wanted. The one rule was I literally had to write down yeah. all the calories that this much exercise, this much whatever. Um, that that tiny thing made all the difference. But but even then, it's like. Uh, you could do something like if you're trying to lose weight, like, uh, and maybe I'll give myself permission to do this is like, you can eat whatever you want at any meal. You just have to start with a salad, just order a salad, Hmm. eat the salad. When you're done, maybe halfway through the salad, you could take two bites and then put it aside. But then after that, you, you, you could do whatever you want. Yeah. Yeah. It just, you just need to get started in a lot of cases and, because you can find any number of reasons why, oh, I'm going to run into this hurdle. Oh, I'm going to need to figure out the, oh, I'm going to need to. And then, and then that stuff weighs on you, you know, yeah. even, even future problems that even if you tell yourself, ah, I'm not even going to have to deal with these for a while. I just want to keep an eye on them. Like the keeping an eye on them is, is what's, what gets, what gets you A hundred percent, a hundred percent. And, and the more you realize that it's just another pattern of actions and not, this thing you need to think of that's really where i think the actual habit uh uh uh, gets gets formed is that it's it's just a dance it's just you know alarm goes off get up get a thing go to the scale weigh yourself take a pee usually take a pee before uh uh, come back make coffee for the wife get in the car go to the gym and at that point you've already you're on track I'm, I'm in, I'm in, even if I, if it sucks and I'm not having a good time and I'm just like, I am going to dog it today. I am dogging. I am going to be an embarrassment to my, my current level of health here at the gym. By the time that I'm on the treadmill, I'm like, all right, I might as well find what's go. Let's just get this done. Yeah. Uh, very cool. Well, uh, hopefully those are, those are some helpful tips for, for getting stuff done. Yeah. Uh, awesome. Well, uh, any other last thoughts on, on some after things stuff? We're keeping a little short today, but, uh, I think we covered a lot of good crown. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, I think, I think we're get we're well good. soon. Mars. Get well soon. Mars. Hey man, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you for joining As us. As for us, we'll continue to be very well mannered dinosaurs. <laughs> on Mars. Ah, we're very, we're very small, imperceptible to the human eye. Oh, is that a piece of dust? Oh, fiddle dee dee. <laughs> it's been after. <laughs> fiddle dee. <laughs> Dratton double dash. All right, everybody. 
I like that Brian and Double Dash. I like that he, Brian heard Double Dash, but it was definitely Double Drap. It was Double Drap, but I like Double Dash better. Oh. <laughs> I definitely Drap um, and Double Dash. Uh, Drat and Mario Kart Double Dash. <laughs> All right, everybody, we're gonna take it offline here. Yeah, man, I'm gonna go watch some HBO Max. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back in a few hours with Court Killers. Justin R. Young on Twitter and Twitch. All yeah. that good stuff. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.